Today we're gonna shoot for the moon like literally. Hello, my name is Ali. You can find me on Instagram at ali.khaled.94 and this channel is all about teaching you how to use Photoshop. In today's tutorial, all you need is a photo for yourself with your hand left, uh, with your hand raised right next to you and a photo for the moon. Okay, let's get started. First, we're gonna use the magic wand to cut the background. I'm gonna click and maybe add this part. Okay. Then there is some extra parts cut, so I'm gonna use the lasso tool, hold alt, and remove the parts that I don't want to be cut away with the selection. Okay. Another part which was cut is my ears. I'll still remove that. Okay, now I'm gonna add Press the layer mask, it will cut what I selected. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stand on the layer mask, press Control, Command and I, which will invert the selection. It looks good for now, but that's if we add a white layer, it will look good. But if we add a black layer, it looks like total mess. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stand on my layer mask, bring a black brush, make sure it's 100 opacity. And then I'm gonna slowly erase the fringing which I have on my shoulder. Okay, you press Ctrl Z if you made a mistake. So, you can spend a little bit more time on this if you want it to look like better. Okay, and there is this part which was not cut with us. Like a little bit of space between my fingers here and there. Yes, okay. Now I wanna like fix the hair, so I'm gonna press right click on the mask and then select and mask. I'm gonna make sure I'm clicking on, on smart radius and on this tool, and then I'm gonna refine edge of the hair. Okay, that looks good now. Way better. Okay, now I'm even gonna refine it more. I'm gonna add a new layer, hold the Alt button until I see this uh, change of the mouse cursor and press click. Now it's linked to the layer below. I'm gonna go with a, with a soft brush and like paint a little bit of black on the edges to make it less brighter. Okay, that's good for now. Now what I want to do is I want to make the right part of my face dark and the left part where the moon's gonna be brighter. So I'm gonna do a brightness and contrast layer, make it something like that dark and add a little bit of contrast. And now I'm gonna alt and link it below and then press Ctrl and J that will duplicate the layer and I'm gonna link it below. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stand on my layer mask with a black brush and I'm gonna paint on the areas which I don't want it to be dark, which will be lit. So I'm gonna paint this part, maybe like this. And then I'm gonna paint again to make it even more brighter because I'm not using 100% opacity. Okay, that looks good. The final thing is the moon I'm gonna use, I want it to be like orange color. So I'm, so I'm gonna add curves adjustment layer and go to the red channel, add a little bit of red, and then to the blue channel and add a little bit of yellow. So I'm looking more orange. We can of course change the opacity later on if we think it's too strong or too weak. Okay, now I'm gonna press Alt and link it again so it's only affecting the layer below. Now I'm gonna go to and add the moon. Click OK, make sure it's rasterized. Drag it to the place I want. I press Ctrl and T to open this menu and then Ctrl, then sorry, Alt and Shift to increase or decrease the size. 
Okay, that's a little bit big. I wanted something like that. Okay. What I don't like about this moon photo is that it has a lot of blacks in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the dodge tool, make sure I'm on the shadows, and I'm going to paint on the very dark areas so it will brighten it up. I don't want this very black areas in the moon. Okay, that's much better. Now I'm going to go to the highlights and do again the same, but maybe one click only or two. To make it look like it's glowing okay to give it a color what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the adjustment layer here and saturation make sure it's linked to it and press colorize now I'm gonna choose the hue I want which is the orange and increase the saturation a little bit till it's matching that's too strong I guess something like that is good maybe make it darker or brighter I believe darker is better okay that's good now we're gonna add an inner glow and an outer glow. I'm gonna double click the moon layer and then go to the inner glow. Make sure you don't only tick it, you open it so you get the color. I'm gonna use maybe something yellowish, yellow color. I'm gonna double click and copy this color. That's important. Press OK. Uh, change the size till it's looking good, the opacity and the range you keep trying until you get the best result i'm gonna do the same with outer glow outer glow and then i'm gonna paste the color which i want which is the yellow maybe it's too yellowish compared to this so i'm gonna go a little bit more reddish okay i'm gonna tweak the opacity a little bit the size maybe Okay, that's good. Okay, so I believe the brightness in the moon is a lot strong compared to my face. So I'm going to go to the first brightness and contrast layer. I'm going to use a soft black brush and delete a little bit of the darkness I made. Maybe just on the edges. So it's more realistic. Okay, to blend in the moon a little bit better, we're gonna go to the moon, create a layer mask with a black brush of 100% opacity. I'm gonna delete a little bit of it here so that my finger looks like it's overlapping it. Same a little bit here. No, that's too strong. Something like that. Something. Yes, okay. One more thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stand on my layer and go to the dodge tool maybe in the mid tones I'm gonna brighten up my, this part a little bit because it's like I'm holding the moon and it's the source of light so this should be like very bright yeah something like that okay that's much better okay now I'm gonna go on top add a curves adjustment bring up the blacks a little bit high and pull the shadows down and increase the highlights a little bit. Uh, that's too strong. Maybe something like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna press Control, Alt, and Shift. Hold them and then press E. That will merge everything into a new separate layer. Uh, I don't like the proportions of this one, so I'm gonna use the polygonal lasso tool to cut it something like that. And then the move tool, I will bring it a little bit closer. Maybe like that. Okay, then I'm gonna use the crop tool to crop in a little bit from here and there. Okay, I guess that's much better. See the before and after? Yeah, that's better. Okay, I'll go to filter now and then use the camera row filter. Uh, add maybe a little bit of contrast. Reduce the clarity to make it more like soft and dreamy. We'll see if I increase the vibrance. That's no, that's too strong. You can always like play around with colors, see if you like the blue more, maybe the greenish, the more reddish. I like the magenta a little bit. I'll add some magenta to it. Then I'll go to the FX uh, module and add a little bit of vignette. Maybe some dehaze. Yeah, some dehaze. Adding some dehaze will be. 
Okay, if you like guys my tutorials, make sure you subscribe and comment anything below if you need any questions or anything. And I guess that's it for today's tutorial. Thank you guys.